Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to learn about merging connectors. Take a look at the example we have here on the screen. Shown here are two domains, one on the left and one on the right. The connector that they both share appears to have different dimensions depending on which side you look at it from. What you're actually looking at are two connectors overlaid on top of each other. One has a dimension of 5 and one has a dimension of 20. We need to figure out a way to eliminate one of these extra connectors so that both domains really do just share the one connector. First click on the grid menu and select merge. This brings up the merge panel. Note the table at the top and also note that the connectors have changed colors. They're now all red. Now red means that the connectors are free or they're only used in one domain. Now had the middle connector been used by both domains it would be blue but our table shows that we don't have any blue connectors. The basic purpose of the merge command is to take two entities and merge them into one and there are three basic ways to do this. First up is auto merge. This is where we give pointwise a distance apart tolerance and let it guess which items need to be merged. Let's go ahead and enter a tolerance of 0.01, .01 push enter and when I push apply watch what happens. The connector that had a dimension of 5 was removed. Technically it was merged with the connector that had a dimension of 20. And now both domains share the central connector. Note that the color of the connector is now blue. That means it is a manifold connector and it is shared between two domains. The second option is called merge by picking. This is my favorite because it gives you so much control. This comes down to picking one connector, picking another, and then pushing the apply button. The first connector is the one that you want to essentially get rid of. The second connector is the one that you want to use for replacement. Now that we've selected both connectors, I'll push apply and note that the connector that had a dimension of 5 replaced the connector that had a dimension of 20. The third option is merge pairs of entities. In a way, this is very similar to the first option called auto merge but this gives you a little more control. We type in the tolerance and we push enter and pointwise searches all of the connector pairs to find any that fall within a tolerance of that 0.01. .01. Now these two happen to lay right on top of each other so they populate the list right here. Now if I select that row and push apply one of the connectors is eliminated and now the domains basically are recreated using a shared connector and it's blue so it's manifold that means it's used by two domains. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.